guys how are you today welcome to my class all right so today i would like to ask you i would like to invite you to know more about the song so before i will start my class i would like to introduce myself my name is apolom suizki arlea fernando you can call me mr Rizky. so here i'm not your coach uh, i'm not your teacher and i'm not your uh, Master, but here I would like to invite you to learn together about songs. Alright? Are you ready? Okay, I hope all of you are ready, yeah? So, uh, I, will, I need you uh, to enjoy this video and don't skip this video because this is really important to you. And thank you for coming in my class, yeah? One more again, I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Okay, let's start for the material. Alright, talking about materials, so today I would like to uh, tell you about the definition of the songs. Yeah, because here I think all of you uh, know what is a song. Yeah, because I know that you all love to hear the music that you love to listen the music right so the definition of music itself yeah i mean songs is a composition of tune or voice in sequence combinations and temporal relation to produce a musical composition that has unity and continuity all right after that i will give you a social functions explanation yeah because this is uh, really important to you, yeah? The social function of the songs. Alright. Songs, songs itself are used to express feeling and idea and interesting the word song can be used to deliver social criticism. The moral values are hidden in the lyric. Alright, based on the explanation that a uh, writer tell uh, or I mean not tell ya. The writer is right about the song is to uh, express feeling and idea, entertain the word. Yeah, because okay. For example, just like this. If you are feeling bad, if you are feeling good, yeah. So I think in every time, everywhere, you are sing a song, right? Right. Yeah, of course. You are singing a song, and after you sing a song, yeah, I think everything will be nice, will be well than before. Yeah. So I hope in this uh, in this part can help you, yeah, can help you that a song can express your feeling, can help your moody, yeah, can help your moody, because when you are feeling bad yeah like what i say before when you are feeling good so you can sing a song you can try yeah besides it, it uh, the song also uh, can improve your english yeah but you should uh, sing in english song like don't sing dangdut or pop uh, indonesia yeah i hope you will um, sing a song in English, right? Okay, for the next material is the general structure. Alright, the general structure is itself has a part. The first is first, first, V E R S E, first, yeah. It is the section of the song structure that tell story this is the explosion describing the scenes or the person or an emotion all right here in this first part yeah the song structures that tell the story okay i will give you explanation everyone uh, make a song yeah of course has a meaning yeah. this is a bad meaning or good meaning or happy meaning or set meaning and anything yeah 
if someone make a song so someone uh, of course knows about the meaning of the song itself okay next is chorus of refrain a chorus is the most of repeat section so uh, it uh, is this remember a chorus is the summary of the song's story okay a chorus itself uh, the writer said that uh, a chorus is a summary of the song story. Yeah, for the example, uh, I think like this. The song uh, has a many a many lines. Yeah, I think many line. But here, you can see that the song uh, has uh, in Indonesia is this like pesan moral. Yeah, I think like that. Okay, the next material is brick. Brick itself actually a brief rest or pause for the core melody within a song used to add further dimension and excitement. Yeah. So this is about the brick. Yeah, it's uh, isn't isn't really important, but you can read itself by yourself or more again. The next is. Pride, okay. Pride. This is the part of the song that see if it can suddenly change tempo or volume or instrumentation. Okay, in this part, as we know that a song has a criteria uh, by themselves. Yeah. So, uh, a song itself has a mellow song. Has a what is it? Uh? fast or low as I said before yeah and then the about the volume yeah for example in the song the first uh, the first part you can sing it by mellow tempo yeah all right and then uh, by little volume yeah okay and then after that the next line is Maybe you can uh, sing it by fast tempo, fast tempo, and then after that you can sing it by uh, what is that? Big volume, yeah, big volume. I think like that, yeah. Okay, are you with me? All right. If you are still with me, I would like to continue again. The next one is outro or coda. Okay, this is the end of the road for the songs. It can repeat to the intro, chorus, or a refrain as an outro or a break with instrumental solo. Yeah, in outro or coda is just like have you uh, see the lyric of the song or have you see uh, the part of the songs yeah for example just like in the last song maybe yeah in the last song of course you has a coda you raise me up so I can stand the mountain you raise me up to more than I can be I am strong when I am on your shoulders you raise me up to more than I can be. One more chord is you raise me up to more than I can be. Okay, I think like this. Yeah, I'm sorry about my voice, but uh, that is an uh, example of coda. Okay, let us continue to the next material. Yeah. Still with me, yeah? Okay, I hope you enjoy my class. Yeah, I hope you didn't bore it in my class. Yeah. Okay, the next is about the language features. Have you hear the language feature? What is language feature? Hmm? What is language feature? Okay, the language feature lyrics are written in the first, second, or third person given on the specific perspective you choose. And the next, often time of few change in lyric, but only when needed. 
okay here I'm talking about the lyric yeah and then here I would like to tell you that if you make a song you should make a clear lyric you should make a important part that is can make uh, someone in Indonesia is baper yes of course so in this part is really important yeah sorry about my hair but okay next is what is that yeah they are using streaming word a rhyme is a linguistic style a rhyme is a linguistic style and then what else based on consonant or similar sounds of two or more syllable or will the word at the at the end of one line rhyme are most commonly used in poetry and song all right here you can see based on the explanation that song itself also make a by a putri yeah in, in indonesia is pu puisi yeah because someone should uh, before make a song also should make a kerangka yeah make a foundation foundation of the song itself all right okay the next is some songs use poetic device such as a such as figure speech and imagery yeah and then while song can paint a vivid pictures since they are longer mediums imagery can be found and just a single uh, sentence as well okay based on the explanation here also talking about the imagery and speech yeah this is a part is really important also right yeah or of course this is important yeah okay the next is some songs use amusing word play and slang the language all right you get it what i explained before yeah i hope you will uh see the this video more uh carefully yeah yeah okay i think that all that's all for my class today i hope you enjoy and thank you for joining to the class yeah okay done okay thank you for coming and see you bye